The supports that are provided in our foster homes have a wide range from simple activities of daily living to complex tasks that are delegated by a nurse. Health and safety are important aspects of being alive, but they aren't the only ingredients for a good life. An opportunity to live in a place that helps you be your best self is important too. And that's no different for people with developmental or intellectual disabilities. Join us as we explore how foster homes in Jackson County are a place where providers support those in their care at the highest level of independence possible. Hello, I'm Bill Mance with Jackson County Close-Up and we're here today with Brenton Gautier. Brenton is the foster home certifier for Jackson County Development Disability Services. And he's here to talk to us today about foster care programs in Jackson County and these amazing people uh, that he gets the pleasure of uh, certifying the place they get to live. So thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. Describe the need in Jackson County for um, foster homes for those with developmental and intellectual disabilities. The need for foster homes in Jackson County is always increasing. There's a larger knowledge of awareness of developmental disabilities and we need natural replacement for people who have retired and our population is always growing. Uh, the services that we provide um, are also increasing. So we always have a need for both children and adults. What supports are provided in these foster homes for the individuals who are staying there? The supports that are provided in our foster homes have a wide range from simple activities of daily living to complex tasks that are delegated by a nurse. So we have homes that can support folks who are very independent to folks that are total care. Our foster providers have a wide range of knowledge and abilities uh, to keep people happy and safe and give them good care in the homes. So how does someone who's interested or, or is just exploring the, uh, maybe the opportunity to do that, how do they connect with Jackson County Health and Human Services? They would call the Developmental Disabilities Office and they would ask to speak to the licensor, which that would be me, gotcha. and I'll walk through the steps with them. I'm more than happy to go out to people's homes and evaluate them and say, here's what you may or may not have to do if you're interested in this, because we do like to have as many housing opportunities for people with disabilities, a wide variety for them. Outside of that, there's, of course, paperwork and inspections and standards to meet, but they're, they're, very, they're very achievable. Um, they're not unrealistic. Tell us a little bit about just kind of how you feel once you get everybody up and going and, and maybe a little story of, of, of what makes you really enjoy what you're doing. When I go out into the home and I see a, a good match where somebody is really increasing their ability or their enjoyment. Um, maybe they are getting to utilize their skills um, more so than they have in the past. Um, or they're getting to experience new things. Maybe they're paired up with somebody who does activities that they've always wanted to do but never had the opportunity to do. Uh, that's always really nice to see. 